Not too long ago, I shared a tip video about one of my favorite adhesives, glue dots. I shared 10 of my best tips for using these and I heard from so many of you who really love the tips that I shared. Now, in the comments, I started hearing a few things about how glue dots has changed the way they roll the dots onto the roll of paper inside of here and how they're opposite what they used to be and how basically none of us are a fan of that. I've come up with a tip to make it so much user more user friendly to use these new glue dots and I wanna share it with you today. Glue dots. Us crafters love these pre-dried sticky dots because they make it so easy to attach things like bows to our projects. Now, a while back, glue dots changed the way they wrap their rolls. So would they used to come so that these dots were still on the roll when we removed this flap of paper right here. Now, they come the opposite way now. The dot is on the underside of this flap as you unroll it. Now, if you haven't used glue dots, it may not seem like a big difference, but if you use them, it is definitely less user-friendly, definitely. Uh, if you try it yourself, you will believe me for sure, but I've come up with a way to basically make a little dispenser out of this box that has really made a huge difference in the way I use glue dots, and I think it may help you too. So let me share with you right now how to do this. What you wanna do is open up your box, and we are going to cut a little portion of the side out to make a little hole that will act as a dispenser. So what we're going to do is put this inside, put the roll inside so that it's pulling, the paper is coming this way out of the hole. And what we can do is just pull a little bit of it at a time so that we remove one dot or two dots at a time as we need them. Now, a couple of little things that I have found to be more helpful. One is it this top of this box likes to pop open. So I like to tape this shut. Now, if you ever need to get in there, you can either cut through that and put another piece of tape on to seal it back up or untape the tape that you have there. Now, with this, I find this to be really helpful. I can pull this out to expose one glue dot. I can put my bow right on there or whatever item I'm going to use, get the glue dot that I need and be on my way. And I don't really have to worry about extra glue dots be going everywhere. Uh, like they happens with these new rolls sometimes. Now, let's say some of your extra glue dots do come out more than you wanted and they're just hanging here. It's hard to push them back in once they're out. So what I have found is basically you can just fold them down the side of the box, but they're going to stick. So here's something I did to keep them from sticking. And this has really helped as well. I took one of these clear plastic sheets. You need something that is uh, basically resistant to adhesive, like the plastic sheets from Gems. And on the back side of it, I am going to use, this is my Seal Plus adhesive. I love this. I have started using this on the insides of my stamp cases. That is another tip that I've shared. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I can link you to that video. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the video description below as well as my 10 tips video for ways to use glue dots. Okay, so I put this resistant piece of plastic here. So now if I end up with extra glue dots outside, I can just press that down and it sticks just a little bit to that plastic. But when I want to use it, I can remove it. And there is that glue dot ready to go. And it's not going to be stuck to the side of my box. I hope you enjoyed this tip video. If you love crafting tips, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I share tips basically on a weekly basis. So hope this helps you. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.